Welcome back, guys, to Horizon Forbidden West, where last episode, having entered the Desert Tanakh's capital, Scolding Spear, we met up with Jitaka once again to take on the wound in the sand, learning that the chief, Yara, had a water issue with the well having dried up, so Aloy traced the underground piping to its source, finding the machine supplying the water to have been tampered with by one of Draka's people. This has led to a challenge being made as we begin the next part of this chain quest. So when new side quest appears, this has been a massive chain quest. Interestingly, it's a lower level than the quest we just did. I find that interesting anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's continue onwards and figure out what's going on. Maybe hit the workshop bench before we go out. There's like so many question marks, but I don't want to go too near this exclamation mark. Or, or they'll give us the, uh, the lead in stuff, won't they? For the next part of quests. With my me just floating on down. No, Zocker, I can't talk to you. You're the quest person, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I definitely got some more upgrade stuff there. The Frost Hunter bow is still like... Most of it is Bellowback sacks, so I just need to fight a ton of Bellowbacks. Uh, pouch upgrades we've got free because of animals we've been shooting. Vulture feathers gets us bomb upgrade up. I'm not really using that. Picari hides gets us the bolt clip satchel up. And apart from that, Picari bone and rabbit hide gets hunter arrow quiver, which is way more pertinent to us. Obviously, I'm going to do them all. But one of these things was not like the others in those senses. One of those things is a bit more important. Oh, I can shoot fish. Salmon. Pelicans and stuff. It's like, what? I haven't seen any pelicans. I haven't seen any prairie dogs. I'd love to. Could be quite interesting. Slicing hunter bow. That needed a wide more tusk. Oh, so that was the thing that would need the wide more tusk, which I've now got. Sure, I'll upgrade everything, because that's definitely a waste of resources, right? Wide more circulator. Okay, I can do that to free. That's unlocked advanced hunter arrows. They're better than my current ones. In fact, I can even get this because I've got a shell walker lightning gun. This seems to be... Ooh. I might want to equip this one then because this seems to be like my best tearing weapon, which means I can get more stuff with it. But I've already got like 15 billion hunter bows equipped. <laughs> I'm just going to have all the hunter bows. It's just what we're going to do. There we go. Well, I want to edit the coil as well. I probably want to add as much tear to it as I possibly can. Oh, it's actually those are being used by another thing. Well, that's 6%. Impact damage up. Let's add both impact damage and thingy. Advanced hunter arrows. Bigger tear than I currently do on my current shooting one. So sun touch hunter bow is my current one, I'm pretty sure. I don't really like the slicing shredder gold at the end, so I've just got like a 15 billion bows. Are you looking to trade? So yeah, we've got advanced hunter arrows, that's 24. So they require more metal shards and more rich wood, but they have the highest tear of anything that I've currently got going. Even shooting the normal hunter arrows out of this is better for me too. I'm not even kidding. Look at this setting that I keep bumping up here. It's kind of disappointing, isn't it? So we've got to head south. is the correct way. Is there an exit? Let's go out with my new slicing bow and see if that works well because knocking off parts is damage itself. But I think most importantly for me, knocking off parts means more parts. It means more upgrades. And that I like the sound of. an overdraw on that, wasn't there? 
I thank you for your wishbone. Maybe I should use the normal arrows while I'm going around, but I don't think you can see like a straight up increase of damage anyway at this point. You need to find some rabbits. Ooh. The Gate of the Vanquish sounds like a, a beautiful place. A massacre of both sides. Oh, well, one side massacring the rest because of the whole political challenge thing that's left behind. It's always best to uh, finish off everyone for an opposing faction on the basis of what troubles they can cause in the future. It's always the way it's considered. What's going on over here? Sounds like there are people in trouble. Hi. Nora, can you assist us with these chargers? That Nora's fighting the chargers. That doesn't mean you can stop fighting them. Hit that one, Sakaka. Rise to the challenge. We're not out of this yet. Watch them. Now we have a chance. Looks like they're leaving. Take your time. Fire discipline. So gonna get shot by some guy. But look at the tear light rating of this. I'm taking off their ears. Okay, never mind. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> their horns, not their ears. With the greatest of ease. So I must have all the charger horns I'll ever need now. I was actually running out on them, so that worked out. Yeah, I think this slicing hunter bow is gonna be my new best friend for a while. Head round to the rocks, draw them away. It's weird how I'm going all non-elemental damage. I'm uh, guessing you're a Tanakh patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to Nacht. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. Mm -hmm. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go onto the grove, Nora. The grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. Capital called the Grove. Duty, then why aren't we bringing her to justice? Because we follow orders. And orders are we stay neutral in this fight. What sort of soldier hides from a fight? It's questions like that that got us posted to guard duty here, Hitakto. I'm stuck with you because you're dumb? <laughs> is that what she said? Or am I inferring? Why right, you silly tall necks that I can't climb for no reason? I'd love to know why. Also, I did take a hit there, so I probably do need to refill a little bit here. I'm quite interested in going on to Aoife, considering these storms that are nearby. Getting nearer and nearer to those storms sounds kind of cool. Backrupt, it looks kind of alive. Come here, pigeon. Right then. This is the Gate of the Vanquished. It is also an outpost. Is there a fight? That's a lot of angry Tanakh. Draka and Yara are already here. Challenge has been issued. Mm. You're their commander. You can stop this. 
She can try. You're here. And I thought you didn't care. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. <laughs> what? Like, speak with both and then I have to choose a side? Why would I choose a side? Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. He's not wrong in certain respects. She didn't tell everyone what was going on. No one tried to blooming fix it. That's like a... Not very good leadership as well. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! I don't want to choose a side. <laughs> like, it is just dumb. <sighs> I feel... Yara's messed up because of certain things. Draka's also like he's not very good at controlling his subordinates, which caused the issue. Choose a side. You both need to stand down. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Uh, for once we agree! Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. What the f- I have to pick a side? I can't not pick- Aww. Hopefully this is a false choice. So I don't know who to pick. Like, Danaka is... <laughs> is it best to stick with the current, you know, regime, which isn't necessarily doing things badly, but is also kind of like obscuring the truth, etc. Yeah, can't we just pick two? <laughs> Commander Tataka, please. But like, there is issues with the leadership. <laughs> Draka seems a bit more volatile. <laughs> a pro-con list? Honestly, uh, I haven't really... <laughs> Let's put it this way. The story for these guys isn't fleshed out enough for me to really be able to give one. It's not like we've had spent a lot of time with people and heard anything more than like impassioned pleas, etc. Uh, as as put above, like logic is out the window and emotion and self-interest have taken over. And that is the basics of like politics as we know it nowadays. Self-interest is purely evident. <laughs> There's literally a guy here who I think could lead their clan better, <laughs> but he's not in the running. <laughs> Maybe I just become chieftain of another place. I don't dislike Danaka, but I don't dislike... <laughs> 
I have actually no reason to pick a side with anyone. I'm assuming things were relatively fine with Yara. I have no clue, so I'm just going to stick with what it is, which is probably not a good choice. Who do you like a little bit more? I mean, it really shouldn't be that. Like, choose... <laughs> Choosing a thing shouldn't be a popularity contest, right? It should be literally who is best for the job. Who is qualified, which usually you'll find that none of them are. But still. I don't know how long Yara's been in leadership for. If there's a way to minimize bloodshed here. But assume Yara's side has... Four troops? Ugh. The coming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. God damn it. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Drunk. Whoa! Whoa! Why do they have big hammer electric guys? I think he's out. Yeah, he's out. Oh shoot, he went berserk and I got stuck in the animation and just got trashed. Great! <laughs> like, I realize it and I'm in the animation to do the melee. And it's just like, oh, I am dead. That sucked. Fine, as long as no one just pulls a big uh, barrel out of the ground, we'll be fine, right? And use my randomly new one. Dodge there. Got me good then. Wow. I take it that's Draka. Oh, yeah, it is. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. to end like that it's the way of the desert well what happens now we live off the water the wound ekes out 
rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. Fire Storm Warrior Bow. Okay. Oh, a purple bow. <laughs> like, okay, I got a little bit more excited after I realized what, like, quality it was. Oh, it's, uh, one of these kinds. But it, it has multiple elements. So that's cool, I guess. Ah, <sighs> that's our reward for two crappy choices. Not really, doesn't really sit well with me. In the end, I guess I went with the established uh, leadership and government on the basis of you never know what might happen from the turmoil of a complete and utter radical change in this fashion. Uh, the after the fact is an important thing as well. This provides continuation and maybe not too much of an uproar and change so everyone else's life can get back to normal now that the water's there. But that's not even really necessarily the best reason anyway. It's just trying to, like, moralize your point, your decision, in a way that's not very satisfactory. A man died. People died. Sucked. I thank you for all you've done for our people, Huntress. Well, that was crap. I don't know if there's any honor in this, but sure, I'll walk in honor. Very doubt. Now, what's this? Yeah, it is one of those. Not your favorite quest line because of how things went, but... Yeah, sometimes this is just how things go. This is the cauldron! Interesting how that quest just brings me to a cauldron. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes, only with my level of curiosity to check out the thing. Oh, I'm stuck! Told you it was a dead cauldron. Some good paying attention than I did. I'm not getting out the way I came in. There must be an exit somewhere. The best leaders are those who don't want to lead, bummer. It's one of those stereotypical quotes that's kind of like, you know. Not really all that thoughtful, but it keeps being brought up because it's kind of feels like it really is truthful. I do believe that, you know, you have to have like some kind of a will to lead, but not for the sake of power, etc. But I guess. There's just a little bit too many people. So we came from where? Oh, we came from there. Alright, oh, just looking around a little bit more. Quite a few of these things here. <laughs> There's just no qualification for leadership anymore, is there? I feel like... <laughs> We shouldn't listen to garbage scientists that have no qualifications or, like, studying or anything done. I guess you can't necessarily super train leadership? Ah, It's one of those crappy topics to talk about, because you've really got to have, like, a... Your mindset. What is true or not. This is shut down, so... Can't go up there at the moment. All we can do is leave this place, then. 
Well, I had to explore it no matter what. Dead cauldron or not. I'm not getting out the way I came in. There must be an exit somewhere. Even than that, if Jataka even is even if we both go like, oh yeah, he should be leading. Does he have the respect of the tribe? By the look of it being like somewhat based on the whole rule of might, etc. Made it. That was a long climb. Let's warped out. Okay then, so dead cauldron, can't do anything in it. It's definitely something we can activate in time. Can't look at it any other way than that. But because it's rule of might, etc. Chitaka is a obviously a warrior to survive so long to be in the position he is. But uh, he might be a leader that just faces instant challenge and then we're back to square one again. <laughs> just thinking about all these like factors, it's... Doesn't really work very well, does it? We know what's true, what's not. In fact, do you know what? I'm going back to plain song before we take on this quest. It's time for some more strike, because look, it's appeared. Down there, in fact. There's two different things we haven't seen here. You've respected enough to be an advisor, but you do have a point. It's just... You don't know if there would just be some other guy that's just like, well, I don't want you to attack a leading, and then here we go again. Here we go again. So it looks like all the people have come back to Plainsong. So maybe I actually had to move on to get all the people to come back because Plainsong was blooming empty. And there's a quest here now. I think we had to go through the west exit to get this stuff to appear. Definitely looks it anyway. Why are you so excited for me to be doing more robot chess? Right, it's down one floor. Oh yeah, we even came into this corner. Machine strike, anyone? Yeah, yeah, you're the last beginner person, right? Uh, here for a game of strike. Yes, for I wish to get the skill points for having beat you all. First board. Let's go with set three. Did my set delete itself? Does my set keep... <laughs> I don't even know. All right, we'll go with the Claw Strider and the Leap Lasher that buffs. That worked well. I think those guys just work together, to be honest. Got a wide more. Free attack pool type. So that one pulls people in, doesn't it? Pulls the enemy one step closer to it. I don't know if there's any marsh tiles. But equally, that's a free point character. So really, I'm probably better off going with the Fanghorn. Not Charger, I don't think. No, 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 no. Remove piece. Bad Chargers. Lancehorn. Scrounger? I think it worked out with that. So we got some heal pieces, but the the mountains are pretty far away. I think I might set up on the left this time. I think my advantageous side of the board is left. Oh no! I placed the bit on the wrong bit. Never mind. That's not how I meant to do it. Well, 
What'll you do next? Well, I wanted to get my piece on the big old mountain. I think because you're a REM type, you can just REM me off. I mean, I can sprint it to there. Because I'm not going to be attacking this turn anyway. I should probably get this some thought. What's your answer to that? It's an interesting distance you've chosen. I think I will overcharge and attack this because it's a one point piece for a two point piece. And then if I move you down here, I think I can one shot you. That's the last we'll see of that piece. I'm up. Which means I'm up to be attacked, I guess. No, he's moving. Your turn. Let's replace some pieces. Hmm. All right. This is how it's going to go. Your move. Okay, I'm assuming then that I might be just best off, you know, doing the double attack here. Because I'm assuming that's a three point piece, right? That's a two point piece. Damn it. They're all two point pieces. I still think just you might be winning. Overcharging and finishing that is great. Should I And I can put that on the highest point so it gets its attack boost. But I think we can perfectly see who's the target. Game's over. Really was beginner. You won. Fair and square. 